Ink Ribbon. Whether you hate remakes, love them, or don't care either way, I think we can agree that they're most likely here to stay. Remakes have become increasingly popular in recent years, giving gamers a chance to relive their favorite games with updated graphics, improved gameplay, and even new content. Unfortunately, not every game can get a remake, but today I wanted to make a video talking about a few games that I think definitely deserve one, especially for survival horror fans. So without further ado, let's get to the first entry on this list. Number 5 Resident Evil Code Veronica Now, I already did an entire video on this game deserving a remake, but to start off this list, I have to mention Resident Evil Code Veronica, not just because it truly deserves a remake, but also because it has a very different reason compared to the rest of this list. While its Dreamcast aesthetic graphics could definitely use a facelift by today's standards, the main thing to improve in Code Veronica is actually its gameplay. Widely considered one of the most difficult Resident Evil games, it's unfortunately unrelated to skill, and more related to bad item placement, unnecessary backtracking, and tough enemies. With a refined and expanded story, reworked game design, and maybe a graphical polish, I think Code Veronica as a remake could stand to be one of the best games in the franchise. Number 4 Clock Tower if you've ever played this game, then you already know about this one. And if you've played Clock Tower 3, you know the potential of what this series could be. The original for the Super Nintendo had all the ingredients for an amazing horror experience. Memorable characters, creepy atmosphere, iconic enemy design, a good story, and multiple endings. The only real component lacking is gameplay, which is unfortunately very dated by today's standards, being a sort of point-and-click adventure game. While looking more into this game, I found out it's actually based on an English-language Italian horror film called Phenomena, also going by the title Creepers, and it even stars Jennifer Connelly, who the main character is based on in Clock Tower. In case it wasn't obvious, by her name literally being Jennifer and looking exactly like her. And also, if you've never played the original Clock Tower, it's really worth a play. It's, it's a fun quick experience and the more you play it the more you get to see if you like survival horror i promise it's cooler than it looks number three parasite eve when final fantasy meets resident evil you get parasite eve a survival horror action JRPG with an edge. Both Resident Evil and Final Fantasy games have gotten numerous remakes, so it would only be natural to see Parasite Eve remade into the game it has the full potential to be. While the third birthday was controversial in terms of gameplay, the presentation unanimously highlighted how amazing the game could look and sound, especially considering the original game lacked voice acting and used text only. One of the best things about Parasite Eve is the story, which is based off a book of the same name. It's a deep, mature storyline, and with the remake treatment, Square could easily revive the series to be a hit all over again. Number 2 Dino Crisis Resident Evil, but instead of zombies, you fight dinosaurs. Combined with a cool sci-fi aesthetic and memorable characters, what's not to love? This one is, is baffling because 
With the popularity of Resident Evil and its remakes, the non-stop fan demand for a Dino Crisis remake, multiple attempted fan remakes, and reports of Capcom rejecting multiple reboot pitches, not to mention the fact that Dino Crisis is one of the best-selling Capcom games from the PS1 era, it, it just doesn't make any sense why this has not been remade. But all of that aside, this is a game franchise that Capcom would have to be completely insane to never revamp or revive in some capacity. If given the same treatment that Resident Evil 2, 3, and 4 remakes got, Dino Crisis is yet another game poised for success, assuming it's allowed to exist. Silent Hill. Radio. I know we're getting a remake of Silent Hill 2 now, but in my opinion, the more deserving game in the franchise for a remake is the first game, where it all started. The second game had great graphics that still hold up today, but the first game... Mm, not so much. Although you could argue that that makes the game scarier, because it's that thing where because the graphics are bad, your brain kind of fills in the gaps. And even though it's got some of the most iconic PS1 aesthetics of the time, once you see the pre-rendered cutscenes, it just teases as to what the game could look like and be, not to mention modernized gameplay helping the game really shine to its true potential. Both Silent Hill Origins and Shattered Memories were great experiences that got to reintroduce us to both locations and characters from the first game, but they didn't quite hold up to the original experience. Maybe if the Silent Hill 2 remake is successful, Konami will consider it. So I guess only time will tell. And that's it for this video, but I want to pass it off to you guys. Do you think these games deserve remakes too, or should they just be kept the way they are? And if there's any other games you desperately want to see a remake or remaster of that I didn't mention here, let me know in the comments because I'd love to hear about them and I'm sure other viewers would probably agree with you. Be sure to drink some water, and if you have a cat or dog nearby, please give them a nice pet for me. Until next time, I'm Kai Morgan, and as always, thanks for watching, Ink Ribbon. And a very special thank you to all of my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Your extra support means the world to me and helps me keep making content for you guys.